In accordance with the nation's constitution and sustainable development goals, President Emerson Umingagwa has reaffirmed the nation's commitment to ensuring universal health care and enhancing sexual and reproductive health. This Monday in Victoria Falls, he was giving a speech at the official opening of the 20th International Interministerial Conference on South-South and Triangular Cooperation in Population and Development. President Emerson Umingagwa praised the nation's achievements in achieving the goals of the International Conference on Population and Development when he formally opened the meeting. Zimbabwe's population is expected to double from 7.6 million people in 1982 to 15 million by 2022. A generally higher quality of life is to blame for this increase in the population growth rate. Positive effects have also been shown from the fall in HIV and AIDS-related mortality rates brought on by the increasing accessibility of antiretroviral therapy and the decrease in mother-to-child HIV transmission. In a similar vein, fertility rates have continuously decreased but birth lengths have increased as a result of extensive and well-coordinated socioeconomic and healthcare efforts. Life expectancy has increased to 65 years which is notable because it is higher for women than for men, the president noted. Also, President Umingagwa mentioned the advantages of expanding the number of medical schools and decentralizing specialized services. Zimbabwe is still dedicated to achieving universal health coverage. At all tiers of our society, there has been remarkable improvement in the accessibility and availability of services related to reproduction. Maternal health, newborn care, and adolescent health. Following the COVID-19 epidemic, the Zimbabwean government successfully mobilized the purchase of COVID-19 vaccinations and launched a comprehensive nationwide vaccination program. We continue to uphold the Compact of Commitment and the Family Planning 2030 commitments regarding the supply of financial and technical resources for family planning programs. As a result, domestic financing for family planning has increased from 1.7% in 2013 to 2.4% in 2022 within the national health budget, according to the Abuja Declaration's 15% objective. Our national health budget allocation in 2022 was 14.9%, the official stated. The two-day international conference, which ends this Tuesday, brings together cabinet ministers, specialists, and representatives of development partners from around the world to establish consensus on the most important steps to take in order to achieve the health-related sustainable development goals.